Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today, the topic of interest is your modem. Specifically, we're talking about how to prevent this device from overheating. We're going to talk about what causes your modem to overheat, things you should look for, where you should place your modem, and I'll, I'll also give you a few secret tips here on how to make sure that your modem doesn't overheat. So let's dive right into it here. The first question we have to answer is, why does your modem overheat in the first place? And what are some things that we have to consider? So, your modem, when it's operating, it's an electronic device. And just like any other of your electronic devices, it's going to generate heat. Okay, so your modem is going to get warmer as it operates. Your modems are devices that operate 24-7, so as you can imagine, they do generate quite a bit of heat. And the way that they cool themselves off or, or maintain a steady temperature that's not too hot is they rely on a couple things. Number one, they rely upon natural airflow around the device to cool it down. And number two, it relies on having no obstructions of that airflow. So what do I mean by that? Let's dive into that a little bit. If you look at your modem, and you can see it pretty clearly here with mine, it has little holes in it all around the device. Can you imagine what those holes are for? They're actually vents, and they're meant to cool things off. They're meant to have air flow through the device, through one side, out the other, and carry with it the heat that the modem is generating. So that's how your modem cools down. So if your modem overheats, what are some things that would prevent your modem from cooling down? Number one, if it's not getting proper airflow through all of these holes, through these vents, it's not going to remove the heat that the device is generating. So things that cause your modem to overheat, number one, lack of airflow, and number two, these holes get obstructed and they restrict the flow of air through the device, it's going to run warmer than it should and it has a chance of overheating. The things that usually obstruct these holes, it can be, of course, if your modem is covered with something, but in addition to that, if you put your modem on the floor, for example, it can accumulate, accumulate dust inside the device, which basically serves as an insulator, right? It, it prevents airflow through the device and it just causes things to be warmer inside the device itself, which can lead it to it overheating. So with that said, what are some things that we can do as a modem owner? What are some things you can do to prevent your modem from overheating? Well, we talked about the modem not being too cluttered or congested. We also talked about dust. So these things, basically, they come down to placement. Where you place your modem will have a big impact on its performance in terms of if it overheats or not. So number one, we want to make sure that we put our modem in a place where it gets plenty of airflow. Plenty of, so plenty of air can flow through the device, carry heat away. The next thing, obviously, we want to put our modem in a place where it doesn't accumulate a lot of dust. Usually, that can be achieved by putting it somewhere on an elevated surface, as opposed to putting it in the corner of a room on the ground. That's the last thing you want to do. So you want to avoid putting your modem on the floor. You also want to avoid putting your modem in a cabinet or a closet or some enclosed area where it won't get proper airflow. And I know what some of you are thinking here. Many of you want to hide your modem and router especially. 
you don't want it to be out in the open, you think it's an ugly device. Well, if that's the case, there are still some alternatives here. You can put your modem on a, a bookcase or a shelf and put some other items close to it, but not too close, right? You don't want to cluster things around your modem so it doesn't get proper airflow. But if you put it on a bookcase, you can put a few things next to it, which won't restrict the flow of air. Another option is if you want to put the modem in an open container, like a basket without a top on it. If you have something like that, your device will still get plenty of airflow. As long as it's not an enclosed container, you'll probably be just fine. This brings us to our next point here. And these are a few little tips that I have. I do this periodically. If your modem is in a place that gets good airflow and it doesn't accumulate dust, you probably, maybe you have to do this once every year, once every few years. But the bottom line is, every once in a while, just give your modem a look. If it looks like it has dust accumulating on it, or it feels warmer than it normally does, there are a few things that you can do here. The first, it's just simply cleaning off the sides of the device to ensure that any dust that's accumulated on the sides of your modem, it gets taken away. So what do we use? We have a paper towel. We just have some general purpose cleaner. All we want to do here, just put a little bit of the general purpose cleaner on your paper towel and then lightly just rub the sides. You just want to wipe the sides down, wipe off the whole device. While you're at it, wipe the base down. You probably want to do this while the device is off. That goes without saying. You probably won't have any problems either way, but this is just the safest thing to do. All right, so let's just wipe everything down here. And although my modem looked pretty good, a lot of this is probably dust from the base of the device. It's probably hard to see, but there's a little bit of dirt and dust that comes off of it there. So that just shows there can even be a little bit of accumulation of dust that you, that you can't even see. Okay, so that's step one for maintenance. The next step, what if you have some device that's accumulating inside your modem? You know, you can see all the little holes in it. What if dust gets in there? Well, the good news is we have a solution for that as well. We have a little can of compressed air here. This is made for electronic devices. All we want to do is just force a little air through the device. We're going to get some velocity behind it with this compressed air, but this should dislodge or loosen up any clusters of dust within the device itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray the side here really quickly. I'll spray both sides. Just give it a good sweep, left to right, right to left, up and down, however you want to do it. You can use short bursts, you can give it a little more oomph, however you want to handle it should be fine. Alright, so those are the two little tips that I have for you. If you do this periodically, you're probably not going to have any problems with your modem. It's just good to have these in your back pocket in case you notice your modem collecting dust on it or your internet performance suffers, things like that. If you notice Maybe you have intermittent internet connection. You're not sure what's going on. This could be a reason. Your modem could be overheating. So it's good to just have some tricks in your back pocket just in case. All right, that just about covers it for the day. You know how to keep your modem free of dust. You know where to place your modem. If you do those things, you shouldn't have any problem at all with your modem overheating. If you have any questions about your individual situation, please drop a comment below. 
I'll also link to a blog post that I've written on this topic that will give you some more useful information. If you found this video useful, please give it a like or a subscribe. And as always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.